music swells and old acquaintance are forgot. you guys um, so don't mind the mess around me just got done giving the twins and Benjamin baths but I have something to show you so if you remember in my last video uh, was it on our last video or the one before I don't remember I told you guys that we got some more ducks <laughs> and one of you pointed out which was hilarious like only Angie would instead of getting rid of the extra male duck would go and get four more female ducks. In my defense, <laughs> I am protective and drakes are not exactly something that people are clamoring for. And so um, I, I've been concerned about my ability to rehome him to some place that I felt like he'd be safe, you know, a good home. Um, because he's been a pet to us, I would want him to be a pet wherever he goes next. Long story short, you're right. It did. It is only an Angie thing, Angie logic that would say get four more ducks instead of getting rid of one duck. But here we are. And that brings me to all these chickens. Okay. So let me just show you real quick a cute chicken so I don't lose your attention while I explain to you why I have all these chickens in my bathroom. <laughs> They're all napping, so I tried to just grab the one that was awake. Can you say hello? Don't jump. Can you say hello? Oh, there she is. Can you say hello? Do you see her little black feet and black beak? And she actually has black skin underneath these yellow feathers because, do you see her feet? So the feathers on her feet? So she is a silky. Yes, she's a silky chicken. Yes. So we've got some silkies in here as well as some of these ladies. You don't, you can see she's taller. Um, hopefully you can see her little, come on, turn this way so the camera can pick you up. There we go. Hopefully you can see her little poof on her head. Yes, so she is a buff laced, buff laced Polish chick. Hello. Hello, sweet pea. Hello, sweet pea. Yeah, so she's a buff laced Polish. So let me put her back with her sisters so they can get warm. So we have silkies and buff laced Polish. Long story short, um, back in the spring when I was doing my chicken and duck ordering, I really wanted some silkies. They were all out until August, and so uh, I, you know, we ended up, if you remember, we ended up getting some from Tractor Supply, and I canceled my other order, and uh, I figured, okay, we'll keep these. Well, then a couple weeks ago, it came to my attention. I was like, oh, that's right. We've got those other chickens coming. And then I started feeling like, well, I don't know that we really need them. Our chickens, the, the hens that we have now are very prolific layers. They lay a lot of eggs, um, more than I was even expecting from them. And so I was kind of like, well, I still knew that I wanted these chicks at some point, but I figured that maybe what I would do would be to cancel the order and get them next spring um, instead of right now. And I wrote it down, my to-do list to cancel the order. I attempted to cancel the order, but they didn't let you do it online, so I had to call, and it was outside of business hours. And then I just forgot. The dish ran away with the spoon, time got away from me, I don't know, I forgot. And then Monday I woke up and I had an email saying, your chicks have shipped. And I was like, ship? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, so then the last time, it took a couple days anyway, so Tuesday, I'm hanging out at the house, CR went to go pick something up from Home Depot and this guy comes and knocks on the door and he's from the post office and he's delivering a little box of chicks. And I was like, oh, okay, I wasn't even expecting him to be here that early. Like I figured they'd be here later in the week so I didn't have anything set up. I'd planned on doing the setup today. 
And so long story short, I had to rush around um, the kids and, and they were like, let me out of this box. They were like trying to jump up out of the box. So the kids just played with them and hung out with them while I scurried around to set up a brooder and this is not an ideal setup. I didn't intend to put them back in my bathroom. I intended them to either go in the coop or the garage, but I hadn't had a chance to put the secure brooder together. So they're in this temporary brooder, which is of course just one of my galvanized tubs. And they've got their water and their heater. They're all underneath the heater right now. That's why I can't see them. They're a little chicken play thing. And um, the reason their water, before anybody asks, the reason their water is yellow is not because we're giving them urine to drink. No, no. Um, I just mixed this Chick Boost probiotic uh, with their water <clears throat> just to give them a little jolt. The Silkies are super tiny. They are way tinier than any of our other chicks were. The, the Polish, the buff laced Polish are still small, but the Silkies are so tiny. So yeah, we have more chickens. The good news is, is that Silkies are smaller chickens um, and they're not really great layers. They do lay eggs obviously, but just not nearly like our other chickens do. So hopefully we won't end up with more eggs than we can eat. And if we do, you know, we'll go from there, but um, they're not like, people don't usually get silkies for eggs. They usually get them as pets and other things. They're super friendly um, as a breed on the whole. They're super friendly, they like people. And uh, I'll insert a picture here of what silkies look like when they are grown. Now it depends if they're bearded or not. Um, and then I'll also insert a picture of what the buff laced Polish look like, which I think is hilarious. I love a silly looking animal. Hello, I love llamas. There's something about like God's creation that is goofy looking that I'm like, I know that God has a sense of humor and I can t I, I know it for sure when I see animals like silky chickens and buff laced Polish chickens and llamas. Uh, because it's like, you just see it like that. They're just so goofy looking that it, you can't help but smile. So. Anyways, I'm very excited to have them join the farm. Uh, next week, a couple of ducklings, a few ducklings will be joining the farm next week. Uh, so we'll probably, depending on how big these guys are by then, we may put them together, we may not. I'm gonna wait and see. And um, we also are well aware that the process of combining these ladies with our current ladies is a difficult process. It will be likely a long process and a very slow, gradual process. Chickens are brutal and they will kill each other. They will kill other chickens. Um, you know, if they territory as well as being a different breed, they can just not like each other because they're a different breed. Um, and so uh, the good news is we've got three breeds of chickens in there now. So they're very used to seeing other chickens that don't look like them and such. Um, so hopefully they'll be welcoming when the time comes, but that's a ways away. And um, don't worry, we have a, two, a couple of backup plans should they not like them. Cause I don't want them to obviously get hurt or killed by our other chickens. And I can't wait to share with you their names. I have been holding on to these names specifically for these silkies and um, Polish chicks for, I don't know, like nearly a year at this point because um, I'm just, their names are, they're gonna be so perfect. Much to do. I've got to harvest a bunch of stuff out of the garden. I'm gonna dehydrate some stuff today. I haven't used my dehydrator yet. Uh, but I've got a bunch of herbs that I want to dehydrate. I'm also going to take some of those herbs and uh, dry them, not dry them, sorry. I'm going to take some of those herbs and bunch them and put them out in the coop. It helps keep away flies and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I do with extras because we just have a ton of herbs right now. I'm just in like full blown, want to get everything done because we are going back to school right after Labor Day is when we will start back to school this year. And so August is like my month to get the house in order, just to, to wrap up some loose ends and get some things done um, so that when we start back in September, I don't feel like, you know, we're trying to rush through school because we've got other things like looming over us that I know need to be done. So anyways, I also this morning just placed a relatively large order for bulbs <laughs> for, for um, fall planting for spring tulips and daffodils 
and um, did I get anything else besides tulips and daffodils? Uh, hyacinth. I think that's it. But I got a lot. I got a lot. So, very excited about that. Need to start planning out the orchard and garden and all of that. But I have some ideas for planting these glorious like waves of tulips for the spring. So I'm excited about that. Those won't come for a long time, but you gotta place your orders now before they run out of all the different types. Did I say they won't come till the spring? Those won't, for us in our zone, they don't even ship them to us until December because we don't put them in the ground until then, so. All right, so I am moving on to start organizing and sorting through all the toys. Uh, I'm doing this because we're, you know, doing the playroom makeover right now, but also, like I mentioned earlier, my goal this month is to get as much of the house in order and just all the projects on my list done before school starts. So the only way for me to really do that amidst our normal hectic daily lives uh, is to sort of tackle one thing a day. So I've sort of made myself like a master list of all of the projects that I want to do. And by projects, I just mean things like this, like sorting through the toys and organizing everyone's closets better and that sort of thing. So my goal each day is to just carve out 30 minutes to an hour to tackle one of those projects. Obviously, some of them will take longer than that, but especially like Ciara's gone at the barber shop right now with the boys. Um, so it's a perfect time for me to you know, take that 30 minutes and just, or an hour, however long this ended up taking me, um, and just tackle one project a day. You know, I definitely get overwhelmed by my to-do list. So one project at a time. He likes to be babied, okay? <laughs> you, sir, are pathetic. He says, See, pathetic. I told you he likes to, this is how he sleeps every Baby. night. Here. You refuse, you're too dignified for that, huh? He's too dignified for that silliness. Oh, we're side-eyeing you right now. Crazy dog. What are you doing? Um, this weed is under the city there. Oh, Be careful, you're going to bust your head. Yeah, but you have like that. Can you get out? I can to do that. Holy goodness. I don't even know if you can see me right now. It's so foggy out here. I can't see myself. Hopefully you can see me. Otherwise, we're just wasting both of our times. We're out here hanging out with the ducks. And, yeah. Did you say how big her poop is or her poop? Look at how big her Yeah, it's huge. Look at how big her poop has gotten. Oh my goodness. For the next couple weeks, um, we get to start on the duck run. I'm excited about that because, um, I mean, they've, I don't want to say they've destroyed their living space here, but we, um, I just want, I want to do better for them. You know, I've had these grand plans for a sweet pond and just expanding the space and giving them a little place to nest back here towards the fence line. Um, it's just based on how long it took me to do the chicken run, um, you know, making appropriate plans and being able to accommodate that. Holy humid. Angie, this lens, it's just like, immediately getting wet. Um, so anyways, we finally, we, we've prioritized that now with the garage stuff finally taking shape and almost being done. We're moving the duck run up the priority list. So we've kind of got some loose plans for what we're gonna do with the pond and water features and footing. And I've got a lot of changes that I'm gonna be making with how I build the run structure. This ground over here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the grade is not good. Um, it's required quite a bit of quite a bit of planning. So I've got it down. Um, yeah, now we're gonna probably 
Look at Fern. Oh, look at her. Fernie, Fern, man. Fernando, Tim. Fernando, their heads have gotten so green too, just over the last week or two. Hello. I still think Daphne's my favorite. The runners. So yeah, um, part of the, the pond features and the, the water features, I've watched a ton of YouTube videos on it. Drainage is very, very important when it comes to ducks. Being able to drain the pool or the pond and clean it out. Um, ideally, I'd like to put a waterfall in there just to keep water moving. Um, we'll do an aerator. I mean, lots of things, lots of all the things, the stuff, just to make sure duck cleanup is efficient um, and their water is, is clean. They're playing in pumpkins right now. So cool. All right, sorry ladies, I do not come bearing food. It's like they hear us walking towards the door and then come sprinting out of there. Wow, like a bunch of rockets. Whoa, whoa. Ladies, I don't have any food, I'm sorry. The camera is not food. Where's, all, where's the other one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they're all out here. This one's mine right here, the blonde one. Fitting, hello. Hello, sorry. I don't have any snacks for you right now. Please don't eat me. <laughs> Are you guys gonna be nice to your new friends that we got inside? Huh? Maleficent, you run this show. Are you gonna be nice? Where are you at? Where's Weezer? Weezer, we gotta have a talk. All right, I'm gonna need you to kind of run this show when the babies get here and make sure that all of your lady friends here treat them kindly. Can you do that for me? Give me two clucks for a yes. Not you. Got the haircut finally too. I took the two oldest boys to go to our barber. Um, he's finally back in town. He's been out of town and like closing for upgrades in the shop and stuff over the last several weeks. So schedules haven't been aligned, but we were finally able to steal away a couple hours and head up there and get the hairs did. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking pretty, pretty darn on point right now. So you're welcome. All right, daddy's, daddy's yub yub making some bacon. Pancakes, we're having a little brinner, the boys. World War II documentary. What? What? Talking about World War II documentaries again? I mean, I'm in hog heaven. I know. All right, I'll show your I'm in hog heaven too. boys got back from the barber shop today. Literally. JJ, looking real sharp. Looking real sharp, Noah. Daddy got a haircut too. No, no, Daddy. Benny needs a haircut too. Next week, he's out of the office again from Friday through Tuesday. So I told him Dogs. Well, Dad literally took me in hog heaven. Oh, you make a bacon? Mm-hmm. All right, well, hey, one of you guys want to sign us out? See you later, tweets. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Be nice, Benny. Bye. 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 Bye.